All right, time for Jim George, also known as Professor Gadget. He's here to talk to us about technology and gadgets and everything related to all that stuff. Yesterday, I heard something on Clark Howard I wanted to share with Jim also regarding cable TV and people spending money on it. Good morning, Jim. How you doing? Good morning. Good morning. There you are. There you are. Uh, did you miss me last week? I did. I did. <laughs> Dan was good. Though. So what Dan's was I? Very good. Oh, Dan is very good. So uh, you know what I heard on Clark Howard? Sure, sure. Seventy thousand people per month are cutting their cable for it, cable TV. Yes, yes. How does that affect you? I mean, it, do, it doesn't. No? It doesn't. Um, when you're in a um, a situation like we are, we, as long as you have internet. As you know, you can type in ABC and go watch ABC. You can yeah. type in ABC, okay? If you wanted to watch ABC Channel 9, you could type in ABC Channel 9 and you'd get it. But then if you wanted a, a different channel, you'd have to type it in and wait for it to populate and everything. Uh, with my box, the URLs, that is the sites themselves, are already cached in my server. Uh-huh. All you do is change the channels just as if you were in your home changing channels. So the the reason it's so expensive, the way it sounds, uh, I just want your input on this, is because you as the cable provider, you have to cover your expenses and each one of those TV channels charges you. It does. And you know, keep in mind that, let's say Cox, for instance, they have a huge infrastructure. I mean, millions of yeah, dollars. Yeah. And they pay between 15 and $18 a year per pole to be on a pole. Oh, now, wow. how many poles that do you think they have? Lot, yeah. Couple, let's say 100,000. Yeah. So that's, you know, $1,800,000, $180,000 a year they yeah. pay yeah. just to be on the poles. Now, when the hurricane comes and the pole gets knocked down and a new pole gets placed, they have to send a crew out to move the cable over to the new pole. Uh, they have to constantly re- be replacing amplifiers and splitters and everything, either due to co- corrosion or due to Violence, you know, active violence, such as uh, someone that hates cocks and beats them up, you know. Or there's always something they're changing. <laughs> so, in defense of them, they have a huge overhead. But right, right. if you were, uh, if you own stock in Cox, I think Cox is actually privately owned. But if you own st- uh, stock in Bright House or Comcast, you would see how much money they make. I mean, they hmm. they may make uh, twenty billion dollars this year. And then they show that their net income is, let's say, $1 billion. Well, see, now, the, the, the conversation that was Clark Howard was having, so the 70,000 people who have dropped it pretty, pretty much dropped it because of cost. Yes. Because it's more convenient to simply have cable TV than it is to be looking at TV on your computer, like Hulu and things like that. So the cost is the, is the thing. And he it was, is. He was blaming the relationship that is forced upon the, 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 the cable people. Well, keep in mind, Comcast owns about 70% of all programming. So Comcast not only has um, the programming that they uh, get from other people, let's say like um, uh, ESPN, they own USA and you know a few uh. other ch- they own these channels and then they resell them to people like me to resell them so they're making money you know both coming and going plus advertisers and everything else but uh, it, people want skinny packages i mean you want a package of movies i mean of uh, programs but you don't want 150 channels right. you yeah. want 10 yeah you, know, you want yeah. 20 well and he was saying he was saying the average the average viewer watches eight channels exactly between 8 and 11 Isn't depending that upon yeah wow. wow. that's it yeah. so why pay for 150 and watch eight right just pay for the eight yes now in defense of that what happens is most programmers um, bundle their service and you are not legally allowed to unbundle so if you want uh, we've had this conversation if you want mm-hmm. USA network you are going to get Disney, USA, ABC, and ESPN because they won't allow them to be broke apart. Um, because I'll just hate to be discriminatory, but most housewives would not order an ESPN package. Mm-hmm. You know, but they have to if they want USA or if okay. they want Disney. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, they're forced to. So what Congress is trying to do is get them to break the package up. A channel should stand on its own merit. If there's a sewing channel, and ladies would love to have the sewing, ch- just order the sewing channel. Yeah. And that's where Over the Top came from. So what they're saying is not a mainline channel. It's an over and above the other channels. And so if you want the sewing channel, you would subscribe to it. 
That would be it. So those smaller channels, like the sewing channel, is, is there such a thing? There is not. Okay. But if there was, and that kind of thing, yes. like you had one, the Horse Riders channel. Or yes, something. Horse and Country yeah. and Bus Ride TV. So they might have a big enough audience to support it, or on the other hand, maybe they don't. Right. So. And a lot of these programs, like I was talking to a, a lady the other day uh, about programming, and she said to me, which tier are you going to put my programming in? And I said, I'm not going to put you in any tier. You're going to stand alone. Hmm. If people want your service, they'll take your service. Mm-hmm. Well, you realize I'm, I'm probably going to charge you $2 more for that programming because you're not giving it to every one of your customers. I said, well, not every one of my customers wants it. And so mm-hmm. if, you, if you need to charge me $2 more, that's fine because if a person wants to watch your programming, mm-hmm. they will pay the extra $2 to watch it. Okay. Mm-hmm. So you, it doesn't really fall on you. It falls on the customer. Yes. It trickles down. They choose what they want. Okay. You do have a phone call. Good morning. You're on the air with Jim George. Yes, uh, good morning. Uh, Mr. George, uh, where I live here, uh, in in the bylaws, you cannot have a a TV antenna on your roof or a tower or anywhere in your yard. Uh, How would I get around? If I had something like that up in my attic, would that be sufficient to get your system? No, my system is not carried in the air. My system is carried on the Internet. So, oh, so it has nothing to do with an antenna. Right, but you could get an antenna, like the ones we spoke about before, with Canada's antennas and the markets of Marion. You could put it in your attic. It comes with a pre-amplifier, which means it's trying to overcome the loss that the roof structure would have you know, put on it. And you'd probably still get about 20-plus channels. Okay, it's kind of crazy here. You know, you can't have an antenna, but you can have a satellite, you know, uh, uh, so... <laughs> Yeah, that one out. yeah, that's. Yeah, it is kind of crazy, uh, but that's done for a purpose. If you let everybody just put up anything they wanted to, you'd have antennas all over the place, and then some people wouldn't put them up correctly. They'd fall on the other neighbor's house. They're, you know, wow. Yeah, so. well, I, I, I'm for the, the bylaw. I, I mean, I agree with you that way. But uh, but you say, though, know, uh, with uh, uh, an amplifier and uh, an attic situation that I could uh, I could do real good up there. Exactly. Now, would be no problem whatsoever. I don't know how many exact channels because um, it depends how you mount it, but the antenna itself um, is directional, and it comes with a rotor that turns it left and right. So if you were to put a mass, let's say, from the floor of your attic to the top of your attic in one of those joists and mount the yeah. antenna on it, um, you could just turn it 360 degrees and pick up signals out of Gainesville, signals out of Orlando, and so on and so forth. Okay, very good. Thank you. You're welcome. You know, and the whole idea of watching uh, movies on your little handheld phones and things like that, that's... I guess people are enjoying them. I can't. To me, I like movies when they're big and, yeah. the, and the speakers are big. And well, it started out where you were home and you were watching a, a sports event, let's say, or a concert in your case, and now you have to go to work. So you're driving to work. Let's say you're a passenger, Joe. You're not the one actually driving. <laughs> right, right, right. right. You know? you, you, it, it's now slung to your cell phone uh-huh. so now you're listening to it and viewing it on your cell phone yeah you, you know what you just said uh when i was i went to new york with my son he drove his car to the airport and he has <clears throat> instead of a ra- i'm sure he has a radio but instead of using the radio he has his phone right which gets google play i think it's called which is a list of songs mm-hmm. and then it sends it to his radio by bluetooth yes so he's listening so it's like a radio but it's but there's no guy like me talking right exactly between songs yep and you can use your cell phone as a hot spot and what that means is is let's assume you have 4g or 5g in your area so in other words a good signal all five bars you turn your cell phone into a repeater and you get internet on your laptop so the signal comes in the air yeah, yeah. through the telephone network, the, the, the cell service, throws it to your laptop, and your laptop surfs the Internet through your cell phone. Wow. Yeah. Gosh. So you know I have a, a cheap little phone. Yeah. It's, it's a track phone. Rob and I have the same phone. When I was in New York, I got a message that said, uh, the 2G service is discontinued in your area. We'll be sending you a free phone. And I thought it was some kind of a scam, but I thought, well, they're, they're sending me a free phone. And they're not even asking for my address. I'm guessing maybe it really is track phone. So what I'm thinking happened is they saw that I was in a different area 
New York doesn't use the 2G anymore or right. whatever, right. Even, even though I was using it. So mm-hmm. don't ask me. <laughs> is, what does that mean? Anyway? Well, your, your, cell, your phone was, was uh, not only backward compatible, that is, uh, but it was forward compatible. It could use 4G. But you apparently had signed up for a program that um, would give you only a certain speed, a certain number of options, mm-hmm. and that's 2G. The person that asked is really that Matt person from Verizon. When it comes yes, to, yes. When it was, comes to cell know. phones, yeah, he's the yeah. guy. Yeah. I think I told you we even got a cell phone. My wife got a cell phone from him, and she loves it. Yeah, yeah. And you but not a Samsung 7. No, no, no. No, no, no. Not the blow-up yeah, no. ones in their pocket. I don't want anything that close. Do you know, you know what they said on the airplane? They said if anybody has a Samsung 7, turn it off and keep it off until we land. Exactly. They said it on mine, too, when I flew to Philadelphia. They yep. didn't even want you to have it. But now they're saying they're actually catching on fire when you're not in use really yeah that was oh just on gosh. the tv the other day somebody made a mistake so still. samsung says it's going to cost them billions of dollars yeah. to recall all of them wow oh, and you had one no 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 no, no. but all right. all right we'll take a little break we'll be right back jim george is here if you have any questions we love those questions give us a call 622-9622 we'll be right back the weather is brought to you by MyFWC.com. Safe boating is no accident. There could be coastal flooding at times of high tide today and tomorrow, along with a high rip current risk each day. Partial sunshine Friday with a shower in spots and a high of 83 to 87. Partly cloudy Friday night with a stray shower, low 67 and then 74 on the coast. For Saturday, times of clouds and sun are becoming breezy with a shower or thunderstorm in spots, high 83 to 87. From the Florida Weather Center, I'm Joe Lundberg. FlySanford.com, Orlando Sanford International Airport. We are SFB. Simpler, faster, better. Visiting friends and family or just looking for some fun? Book your vacation now to one of their nonstop destinations, including Amsterdam, Brussels, Mexico City, San Juan, as well as over 70 domestic destinations, including New Orleans. For enjoyable travel, come to Orlando Sanford International Airport. We are SFB. Simpler, faster, better. Before you fly, FlySanford.com. There's nothing like driving through your hometown, the familiar sights and sounds of your community. Is your hometown bank? Florida Credit Union can make that ride even smoother. Let us start up an auto loan for your new ride or refinance your current auto payments today. No waiting, hassles, or stop signs. You can even apply online. Danny Warfel here. Look how easy Florida Credit Union's made it to drive a new car. Florida Credit Union, connecting your money to your life. More info at www.flcu.org. Next Generation MD is the future of healthcare now. Listen in the first and third Thursday at 10 a.m. to learn how the future in PRP treatments are here in our area. Find out the many ways that Dr. Juan Jordan, MD, Charles Brooks, NP, and case manager Mark Shaw have brought the family medicine practice to a new level. Hear from the very people that benefit from the fine work they have done in this field. Next Generation MD, every first and third Thursday at 10 a.m. here on WOCA 96.3 FM, 1370 a.m., The Source. Highland Memorial Park is a beautiful place, not a sad place. You know you need to put your house in order, and Highland is the place to take care of your end-of-life issues. You have thought about it, but keep putting it off. That is just our nature. We want to protect our family, but life gets in the way. Pre-planning makes sense, but at some point, it will be too late to plan ahead. Don't put this off any longer. Call Highland Memorial Park. Make the best decisions and get it done. Call 352-369-1020. We will be there when you need us, but we would like to help you now. Hi, I am John Sotomayor, publisher and executive editor of the new Ocala Christian Advocate, the first faith-based publication of its kind in North Central Florida. Our mission is simple, to serve God and help others. Our goal is to bring awareness of the various ministries in Marion County, as well as cover faith-based topics that shape our lives, our values, and most of all, our relationship with God and one another. Please pick up a copy distributed quarterly throughout Ocala, Dunellen, and Bellevue, and be sure to visit our website, ocalachristianadvocate.com. All right, 20 minutes after 9 o'clock. Beautiful Friday morning. Jim George is here, also known as Professor Gadget, and Joe Martone is also here. And uh, yes, well, you, had some, you had some technological things last night, Joe, with that computer you were trying to get going. Yeah, what was all that about? Is it on? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I didn't know if my mic was on or not. Yeah. Well, it is now. It just wouldn't load up for some reason. It just wouldn't load up the program. Yes. The main program load up, but it wouldn't load up the songs it's from on. the sticks. And it was dry, and all of a sudden... Literally ten seconds before I had to go on, you know, everything went. Thank kicking. goodness! Thank goodness it happened. And it worked. And see, I tested it here in the studio, and everything was, and it recognized the songs and put it all in and everything. 
Mm-hmm. And then I want you know what I never saw? I never saw that thing that you have that you put underneath your laptop to keep it cool. That's the first time I ever saw oh, that. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little yeah. fan. I have one of those. Do you? You do? The fan? Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Because now the new laptops don't have fans. It's all solid state. The new, new ones. Oh, really? They don't yeah. need any cooling? Apparently not, because you don't put any fans in them. <laughs> in them. So then you were allowed to have it actually on your lap. Remember we... Ha, 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 ha. Remember that? It was a story. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, the laptop yeah, would burn your story. butt. Oh, yeah. Burn you. Well, it's not the butt it burns. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, was being, I was being polite. <laughs> your lap. Your lap. I'll we're not all painters in here. You know, use it as a table. Yeah. <laughs> That was some story, huh? Yeah. We're not all painters. Remember that. <laughs> yeah. Painters do not own laptops. Not all painters are created equally, right? <laughs> <That's true. laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> for those who missed it, nye, 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 nye. we're not going back. I'm just trying to picture that cardboard with the hole in it. Oh, yeah, that exactly. You would. Oh, <laughs> you did, too. Did not. You had to have pictured it. <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> How could you have not pictured that? As long as you're, as long as you're not a Van Gogh, cut his ear off. <laughs> Wonder what, <laughs> I wonder what they call that stroke. <laughs> <laughs> Rod, right? No, no, <laughs> no. no. <laughs> I can't hey, say. Well, good morning, you're on the air. If you're calling to complain, the yeah, name is good Joe Martin. Uh, <laughs> uh, it, it reminds me of uh, when my friend first started to work for Sun Microsystem. Uh, now, he was in software, so... This problem didn't actually concern him. It was on the hardware side where uh, the fellow that designed the circuit cards didn't talk to the guys that designed the sockets. And so the power bus was a little too close to the edge, and uh, it would short out to the outside of the socket, and, well... After the third beta test fire, they they had to redesign it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Makes sense, huh, Jim? Yeah, I, I, yeah. Fortunately, they hadn't gone into full production yet. Yes. Mm. Yeah, I went to years ago when I was much much younger. Pratt and Whitney down in West Palm Beach, and they had these huge computers. And every time they would open the door to the data center to go out, the computers would crash. Just that little bit of really? temperature change oh, wow. would cause them to crash. That's how hot they were. Wow. They, they, yeah. they put in double doors? Or so more? They finally had to do, they had to actually put fans inside all the units now, which it wasn't designed for fans. It was designed for a cooling room, but you can't, you you got to circulate air. Yeah, right. Yeah. You know, you just yeah. can't have it cool. Do you know what double DCMC? We used to have yeah. a filter in the bed. Uh, have a good morning, all. Thank, Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. We had the, uh, the you know the transmitter that was probably the size of a filing cabinet or whatever. Yeah, yeah refrigerator yeah. transmitters. Yeah, <laughs> bigger than that, really. <coughs> Remember, and and the uh, there was a, a big gigantic filter in the back, and yeah. whenever that got dirty, the thing would just cut off. Yep. I mean, just that little bit of air from a little bit of dust. I mean, the little lack of air, I guess. Yep, so, yep. Yeah. Yeah. Cut it off. Yep. Even in our uh, air conditioning that goes into our data center, we have a HEPA filter, which is similar. It's one of those NASA design filters, very expensive, and it's got a blue light in it. And apparently, the blue light kills any kind of virus hmm. so because when the air oh, wow. when the air is being recirculated over and over again in the data center yeah. room, right? You know, you could cough a couple of times. Who knows what happens? And now it that's circulating. So the HEPA filter takes all the particles and then the blue light kills all the viruses wow it's amazing what we need to do in order to do what we do well if you're going to be in the closed room for a long time you know it's amazing too the little tiny particles that make computers have to be mined out of the earth mm-hmm. and, and i don't even know i mean i guess you guys know more about this than i ever will but they take these gigantic rocks and they break them down to tiny little tiny pieces right and they make whatever is in my phone and in my computer and all this stuff yeah, elements, you mean, the elements of the earth. Yeah, yeah, wafer, yeah. wafer thin. Yep. Uh, like, like, like silica <laughs> for your CDs. And, yep. Good morning, you're on the air. Hey, good morning, guys. Mike McCoy. Hey, Mike. Hey, uh, I think you need to clarify on the uh, on the, um, the blue light in, in the computer. You, you, that, there's going to be people out there trying to remove a virus from their computer with a blue light, if you know <laughs> <laughs> Honey, we need to go buy us a blue light. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's they so had them at Kmart, yeah, didn't they? Are going, I guarantee it. There's going to be somebody out there going to get a blue light 
to get a virus out of their computer. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's funny. That's yeah. funny. Yeah, we didn't hear it. No, I didn't think. I didn't uh, think of that. You got to be careful the words you use. Yes. Yeah. Well, thank you. Appreciate yeah, that. They have blue lights at Kmart, by the way. That's all in a special. <laughs> uh, uh, poor, poor Jim. Well, uh, Joe, how the VA doing as far as their building is concerned? They almost ready? Uh, we're gonna have, um, last I heard, we're gonna have a soft opening November eleventh, uh, which is uh, of course Veterans Day. Yep. And all the dignitaries and everything, but you won't be able to go inside. They have the windows. You might be able to step two or three feet inside, but the walls—it's all cleaned. The demo's done. The roof is done. All the windows are in. But now they have to start great, construction. Great. So we're probably looking for opening in March. A reality opening, but yeah, for occupancy. But yeah, step step by step. That is that is a, a really big improvement for what was here in Ocala. You know, oh yeah, oh, vets yeah. helping yeah. vets is moving up a step, moving up seven, and helping the community. Remember, we only work vets help vets only works at fifteen cents out of a dollar. Eighty five percent goes to a veteran, mm-hmm. and that's low for administration. Yes, that's really yes, yeah. yes, yes, a lot of volunteers and, and a lot of help with the community. Yeah, you know, we're very proud and, and privileged to have all the help. Yeah. That's right. That's good. That would be nice if you would have that on your um, it, a cable system, a uh, program by veterans. Well, I'm trying to veterans. get the disabled American veterans. They have a channel that let me carry it, but believe it or not, I haven't even got a response back from them, and I've emailed them twice. Maybe Joe can put a good word in and see if the disabled Amer- – there's a disabled American veterans channel. Really? Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And what do they show? What's on the – Well, they tell you everything. In other words, af- after you're disabled, everything from rehabilitation, uh, the places that offer certain training, um, how you would sign up to be a, D- a DV, a disabled veteran. Would that be 24 hours a day, that type of 24 program? hours a day, yes. Really? Yep. Because they also highlight veterans and that were disabled and and where they are today. Mm-hmm. Oh. I mean, you know, what, what we had a director of VA that had no no feet, uh, no legs a couple of years back. Remember, he was in a wheelchair. Oh yeah, he so, was direct. Know. We have and, people and here that are double amputees that walk around and uh, they um, participate in the. In other words, it is it is a stumbling block, but not a stopping block. Mm-hmm. So they just continue on with with life. They say, okay, yeah, this is an inconvenience, yeah, yeah, yeah. but they don't they don't right. let the inconvenience. Good attitude is what that is. The attitude. They don't yeah. let that inconvenience and stop them. They use them. all the latest technology too. You know, everything from brain style te- technology. You know, the the sense what that you want to stand and you stand. You know, you, oh, the artificial, legs, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> artificial legs, artificial legs, artificial limbs. Yeah. What is that gentleman in in, in town at the old library? I H Rock Rock. Uh, I H M C. I H M C. The gentleman. I mean, he super intelligent. He's been on the air with you, mm-hmm. with you guys. I mean, it, yeah, super intelligent man. Yeah. There's two. There's two facilities, and it is phenomenal, phenomenal. And they're doing. The robotics, you know. Yes, robotics. And I love to get into that with you one one more. And they have yeah. a meeting uh, one Thursday a month where they have a special speaker come in and speak on everything from stem cell technology to robotics to whatever. Wow! Wow! I hope you get to carry it. Uh, um, yeah, that'd be great. I, I've attended uh, all but maybe three last year. This year, I've only attended like two. I've been too busy. But uh, one once a month on a Thursday night, they have a special speaker. Yeah, they've even had the Vatican come in and speak about wow. their astrology center. Really? Uh, yep, that yeah. looks wow. at the stars. That's where? That's pretty uh, awesome. In the Vatican. The Vatican has their own. No, no, no. I mean, where's the meeting? Telescope and everything. They, the guy came here and spoke. Okay, I'll try one more time. Where's the meeting here? It's at the IHMC building. Thank you. Oh, the old library. Yeah. Yeah. The old library. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Jim, how do we get a hold of you? What's your number? Certainly, 854-9795. All right. Thank you. Fun as always. Have a great weekend. Take a painting. Take a, do, do some <laughs> painting this right. weekend. Oy <laughs> vey. Fox 
News Radio. I'm Lillian Wu. Hillary Clinton leads Donald Trump in the latest Fox News poll. 25 days to go, down seven points. That is the hill for Donald Trump to climb. The survey of likely voters shows Trump with only 38% support nationwide. Clinton holding steady in the mid 40s. Blake Berman with the Fox Business Network. Trump blaming the news media and the Clinton campaign for allegations. He made unwanted sexual advances on some women telling a crowd yesterday. That his administration would look into prosecuting his opponent. The Clintons are criminals. Remember that. They're criminals. Now, as for Clinton, she spent the day out fundraising in California. At one fundraiser, Clinton called the latest accusations surrounding Trump deplorable. United Airlines apologizing for a system-wide problem that caused flight delays, saying they've resolved the issue and producer prices rising in September. Fox News, we report. You decide. America is taking the lead in energy. Leading the world in oil and natural gas production. I vote to keep it going. With the right policies, we can produce, refine, and supply more oil and natural gas. And more abundant energy means more affordable energy for American families. A more secure America. Jobs. Opportunity and economic growth. For our children and grandchildren. That's why this election, I'm voting for American energy. Learn more at VoteForEnergy.org. Join us and become an energy voter. Brought to you by American Petroleum Institute. In business, risks and rewards come with every decision, like moving to the cloud with Office 365. While its benefits include anywhere access and lower costs, cyber threats and user errors can quickly wipe out data and the money you save. Barracuda Essentials for Office 365 provide an added layer of security and functionality for threat protection, email migration, data recovery, and quality of service. Move securely to Office 365. Visit barracuda.com essentials to learn more. Central Florida Eye Institute is the area's leader in laser vision correction. From high-definition refraction surgery and LASIK vision correction to custom cataract, glaucoma, and diabetic treatment, you can count on Dr. Crowley and his effective, friendly staff to provide you with the quality care you deserve. Call 352-237-8400 for an appointment or more information. That number again is 352-237-8400. Looking forward to service your vision needs. There's nothing like driving through your hometown. The familiar sights and sounds of your community. It's your hometown bank. Florida Credit Union can make that ride even smoother. Let us start up an auto loan for your new ride or refinance your current auto payments today. No waiting, hassles, or stop signs. You can even apply online. Danny Warfel here. Look how easy Florida Credit Union's made it to drive a new car. Florida Credit Union, connecting your money to your life. More info at www.flcu.org. Keep up with what's going on in the downtown area with Ocala Downtown Newspaper. Delivering thousands of newspapers to businesses in the downtown area, Ocala Downtown is there to keep you informed. They even have Tom's Picks, a free referral for people who are looking for a company to do work for them. Tom's Picks will refer the company that fits your needs. And all we ask in return is that you tell them where you heard about it. It's simple. For more info, just call Tom's Picks, 352-804-1223, and pick up your copy of the Downtown Ocala Newspaper today. Now read Ocala Downtown Newspaper online. Here are today's headlines from the source WOCA. Authorities in Central Florida say Legoland was evacuated and closed yesterday, but this time it was not because of the weather. According to a release from the Winter Haven Police Department, they had to investigate a bomb threat. Officials say the threat was reported around noon yesterday and all guests were swiftly and safely evacuated. Police say they searched both the grounds of the theme park and its resort hotel and found no explosives. Multiple law enforcement agencies from the local to the state level assisted in the search according to the Winter Haven Police Department. After the all clear was given, the park's general manager said the park would work with guests to get either new tickets or refunds. Legoland was set to reopen for business today. Authorities say a driver who lost control of his pickup truck plowed through a bedroom and dining room of a Central Florida house, killing a 76-year-old woman. News outlet media's quote, Polk County Sheriff Grady Judd is saying the truck exploded into the home at about 40 miles per hour yesterday morning, eventually coming to a stop in the kitchen. He says 24-year-old driver Ryan Talent of Plant City faces a DUI manslaughter charge and is being booked into the Polk County Jail. It is not clear whether he has a lawyer. Judd identified the woman who died as Janice Folds. He says Folds and her husband, the Reverend Wyatt Folds, were married for 55 years. 
The Gainesville Sun is reporting that a University of Florida Health Shands Hospital nurse has been charged with sexual battery on two patients. The man is identified as 30-year-old Paul Brophy of Gainesville. He was charged on Wednesday with indecent exposure and sexual battery. On September 10th, Brophy reportedly went into a patient's room, closed the curtain around his bed, and told the man he would be doing an exam. Brophy then lifted the man's gown and allegedly placed his mouth on the man's penis. The man pushed him away. When confronted by hospital staff about the allegations, Brophy said he did not want to be arrested at work and left abruptly. Brophy was arrested September 12th and was still in the Alachua County Jail when he was charged in the second case on Wednesday. That incident happened earlier this year. While working as a nurse in the emergency department, Brophy pressed his groin into the outstretched arm of a man on a gurney who had an IV in his arm. After the victim was moved to a private room, police say Brophy he then entered the room, lowered the victim's pants, and again allegedly tried to perform oral sex on that victim. The victim told police Brophy's penis was fully exposed. The victim, who did not consent in any way to the sexual actions Brophy took, pointed Brophy out in a photo lineup immediately and unequivocally, according to the report. Some private firms that help inmates adjust to the real world when they're being released from prison accuse the Department of Corrections of trying to steal their funding. Laurie Constantino Brown with Bridges of America says the Department of Corrections is trying to shut down community-based programs and do it all behind prison walls. She says, quote, there's not a lot of cost savings involved when you take a man from $54 in the community to a prison bed at $54 behind the wall. So there's a great deal of fault in their methodology and in their thinking, unquote. Corrections officials say they'll be able to help more inmates by moving the drug treatment and transition programs behind bars, but the head of Florida Tax Watch says it will cost millions more, won't be as effective as the community-based programs, and will make Florida less safe. Dominic Calibro says the private transition programs have a proven track record for getting ex-cons back to work and reducing the recidivism rate. And those are the headlines from The Source, WOCA 96.3 FM and 1370 AM. Palm Garden wants to get to the heart of the matter. If you've been in the hospital as a cardiac patient, maybe you have a pacemaker or congestive heart failure or an arrhythmia, or perhaps you're a heart bypass patient, then consider Palm Garden as your rehab choice. With proven outcomes second to none, Palm Garden fixes broken hearts. Call today at 854-6262. That's 854-6262. The City of Ocala Department of Recreation and Parks are proud to present the 33rd Annual Light Up Ocala on November 19th. The fun starts on the square in downtown Ocala from 4 to 9 p.m. There will be food vendors, three stages of entertainment, Whoville themed kids zone, the downtown holiday skating rink, crafts, the junior sunshine Christmas parade around the downtown square, and then at about 7.30 p.m., the official downtown lighting ceremony. See you at Light Up Ocala. A young woman contemplating having an abortion is told by society that whether she has her baby or not, it is her choice. The House of One in Faith in Ocala wants to give that young woman a place to live in comfort during her trying time to help her know that God's love is abundant and that He is not ashamed of her in any way. The House of One in Faith is free and confidential. For more information, call 352-687-8895. Ocala's Information Station, 1370 WOCA. Ocala!